obsessed with Mark Tansy, an artist known for doing these almost grayscale monochromes of daily scenes. Like most artists fading from glorious month of so long fame, Tansy began doing the le guest lecture circuit around local art companies, including ours. During the 23 hours Frank spent with me trying to save me from failing out of beginning oil painting, the lecture had become amazingly oversold. I guess that further proves that Frank has always had better taste than me. Despite everyone's assumptions of me, I did feel awful. I spent the next week trying to track down pairs of tickets in alleyways like I was buying drugs. Finally came across two tickets. Unfortunately, resting in the hands of Nancy Gladstone. Nancy Gladstone had had an obvious crush on me since our meeting in Drawing 2, and although the unibrow worked for Frida Kahlo, <laughs> it did not work for Nancy. <laughs> the remaining details of the story are not to be recounted to those with a faint heart. It was only when faced with my deplorable selfishness that I came to the realization that Frank, two years my senior, would be graduating in a mere handful of days. There was nothing keeping him in New York, really, except maybe me and those two tickets. So I started making it a point to walk with Nancy after class, to sit with Nancy at meals, to let Nancy's bony hand rest on my leg, comparison close to other parts of my anatomy. I even took Nancy to the movies. Not proud of myself, but I was blinded by a cocktail of fear and guilt. And as we held hands back to her dorm room, I told Nancy my fears and the gift I had planned for my friend. I'm a very charismatic liar. Not a skill I meant to foster, just a skill that in my life has fostered itself, and a skill that lent me two tickets to Mark Tansy. <laughs> Fairly easily. The price of her relinquishing those tickets? Let's just say I didn't go back to my dorm room that night. I left in the morning feeling sore, <laughs> tired, dirty, and a bit like a prostitute. But I had in my back pocket my salvation. So, I met Frank for lunch the next day, which is always customary. I could tell he was clearly excited to tell me some sort of great news. He was biting his left thumbnail. A singular trait that denotes whether Frank Burnham is excited, frustrated, or nervous. He informed me that because Monaco is president of, let's be honest, most of the student organizations, that she was able to land him a single pass into this riveting three-hour lecture. This time, the nail biting was excitement. And suddenly, my take for the team became meaningless. I feel the bland cafeteria food settling heavy in my stomach. Never told Frank. Never told Monica. And I never explained to Nancy why I just slid the tickets back into her mail chute. easy to blame me, to be mad at me, I think I don't hear my disclaimers when I'm introduced, you find me ridiculous. It's easier, far easier, for me to be hated than it is to be loved. <laughs>